right now we're proposing uh, that uh, we go to the community at large for donations to a new organization in town called Local Hero Foundation. The hero stands for Helicopter Emergency Response Organization. And it's really going to be the new funding arm of what Phoenix Heliflight does for emergency services in the Fort McMurray area. We've been involved uh, with Phoenix Helicopters for, for many years. They've been providing uh, daytime service for medevacs to the citizens of the municipality for some time. So uh, in the old system where we had a uh, traumatic patient, patient, patient in a motor vehicle accident, where transport times were long, we would ask Phoenix to take our crew out there, initiate a medevac and take that person to hospital as soon as they could. Currently, the services provided by Heliflight are the only medevac services in the region, but are only funded by Heliflight. And up until recently, were only available during the day but the HEROES program has changed the way Heliflight operates. Paul Springs, who runs Phoenix, um, went out and started getting funding to provide a helicopter that could fly at night. Uh, it's a much more significant aircraft. It costs a lot more money to run it. So um, he went out and did that. And now he's in the process of uh, setting up a foundation that will fund that helicopter to run 24-7 and uh, part of that work it can do is the medevacs 24-7. For the last eight years, Dr. Brian Dufresne and I have been trying to start a dedicated emergency services helicopter in Fort McMurray, but when the government looks at the criteria, we don't have the outlying population, resident population, you know, we have lots of fly in, fly out, but uh, we don't have enough home addresses around us to drive the results of a, a report that would uh, validate having an emergency helicopter here. Because of this, Heliflight has stepped into that role, and since the partnership, Chief Allen says emergencies are more easily accessible. It's a dramatic change for us because, um, you know, if you get a motor vehicle accident, which is common on 881 or 63, and let's say that drive time by ground ambulance is an hour and a half, which is not unusual. Uh, we can have medics on scene within 15 to 20 minutes with this service. So it dramatically improves that patient's uh, chance of survival, uh, ensures that we have care there in a reasonable amount of time, and it also ensures that that person is transported to hospital within uh, the appropriate time. We've got a dedicated helicopter that does more than just the emergency medical. That's our primary role, but we'll also work for the RCMP in search and rescue. We'll work for them in hoisting operations for people who are trapped in remote areas. So it's a very important helicopter for Fort McMurray. The work that Paul Springs and Phoenix have done, you know, shouldn't be minimized. It's, it's outstanding and we hope that uh, sponsors will come on board and help keep that helicopter in the air. For Go at Buffalo, I'm Craig Mommett.